What did I tell you? Mr. Wake, I mean, the master, is pretty awesome. Aw awesome. <laughs> awesome, hey? The, what's that racket, then? Oh, it's you two. Oh, master. Well, listen, kid, I know your... Oh, no, he's, like, he's like, listen, kid, I know your father. I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You could become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't... It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided. But forget that. That's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He said something about using a bomb. Oh, that... <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> that sounds like an act of terror, children. What? <laughs> no one messes with Pastoria. Not on my watch. Okay. So that guy's gonna go sprinting into action at that potential terrorist attack. Hey, Master, wait! I'm, I'm, imagine that guy running to, like, defuse a bomb <laughs> in that outfit. But anyway... Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum version. I'm the legendary Pokemon Master, as you already know, and this was filmed last week because I walked out of the Pokemon Center without saving. And, um, yeah, I, to end that dramatic entrance, uh, or thing that I used to end the last episode. So, yeah, I, I, I am, I'm going to walk into the Pokemon Center and it will be me a week later, so yeah. And boom, here we are a week later, so... Yeah, we're in the Pokemon Center, and we are going to move on with the story. It's actually about exactly a week later, because it's Thursday, it's about 8 o'clock, it's about uh, the same time as the last fil filming of an episode. Um, but yeah, so, uh, th the clip that you just saw was basically a continuation of last week's episode without the dramatic walking out of the gym. So I'm gonna say that once again, hello and welcome, I'm the Legendary Pokemon Master, as you know, and I'm gonna say all that necessary stuff, like, but it's Pokemon Platinum. In case you did not know that already from the title, the thumbnail, the description, and what I say, and the visuals, basically. But we have Crasher Awake here. We don't need to explain everything that I just said. Um, yeah, here's here's Barry, I guess. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave him there. Uh, so there was a bomb last time. Um, we're gonna foil this terrorist attack, hopefully. Okay. Hey! What am I, chopped liver? Don't forget I'm here, too. So, where's this Glock? Doom. Isn't that a game? Yes, it is. Okay. That, that, oh, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I, oh, okay, that, that looked really bad. Bomb goes off. Austin laughs. Ha 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 ha. Fun, funny joke. What, what have I done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The baggage that arrived, see, that was a bomb. Named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did, like, boink. Okay, that's right, mustn't forget. The test results need a reporting. Cheerio, then. You deft codger. You masked absurd. <laughs> yeah. The Great Marsh is invaluable. You two, do not follow me. Do not let anyone else in either. They'd be in big trouble if there's any of that bomb left. Hey, Austin, you go after that Team Galactic Good. I'm staying here like the Master said. I'm go I gotta keep others from going in. Don't let that Galactic guy get away. Okay, so I'm not gonna let that Galactic guy get away. I'm gonna f make chase. I will make haste in my making chase. What's with you? Stop chasing after me, you. I've ha- I've have a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to be on my way to li the lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out. Alright. Do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me. Well, what if I'm just strolling down this route and happen to be following the same route that you are going on? I'm like, hmm, I want to go on a nice vacation to the lake. I think it's called Lake Verity over here, or maybe that's uh, Mesprit's. I think this one is Azel, so Lake Valor. I have no idea, I, I, I'm too lazy to check the map, but... Uh, what if I want to go on a nice vacation to Lake Valor? Or I just want to go to the villa area over here. Um, you, ca you can't stop me, I have the right. We needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. Oh, I remember that. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss, who made this, is a scientific mechanical genius. Gah, you are eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Okay, don't please. I, I, I uh, was involuntarily drawn into this entire mess. I don't need to fight him. I don't think I did fight him, so I don't want to fight him right now. I don't want to. Uh, fight anyone, really. But boy, this galactic bomb packs a pretty big wallop. 
that that's what the United States was thinking after World War II. <laughs> this galactic bomb packs a really good wallop. With that baby here, there's not much we could blow up. I wonder what they've planned for this. Gah, you are eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away, but I'm not wasting my energy knocking you around. You said basically all the same stuff just now that you said the last time, but you got away because Looker, uh, my friend apparently, has uh, come to distract us. Hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo, it was a bomb, and there was an explosion. The explosion was at the, gr the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man. A man with a funny bowl haircut. Or, or cut hair. With funny bowl cut hair. <laughs> In a, an outfit that is very strange. In other words, that is the Team Galactic. Oh no, no, no. How did I miss it? Ah, looker, this time you have made a mistake of the ages. The man who I have seen running away. He was the bearer of the bomb. Ah, this will not do. Wait, wait, I say. Okay, so he is doing some dra dramatic stuff that, uh set us back a little bit. That's always fun and nice. Uh, so I think I, we have an idea of where we're going at this point with him saying the lake and stuff. I'm, I'm just gonna walk through and disregard him completely now. I should probably, uh, talk with this guy who's interviewing this guy here. Ah, oh, my friend, it is you. I, yes, I am at this hotel now. No kidding! <laughs> I am interviewing the people to see if they have, A, seen anyone suspicious. I would like your assistance. Go search outside, if you will. The suspect, he may have already slipped away ahead unnoticed. Okay, so we basically know where he is. He's at the lake. There's really only one lake. Uh, there are actually two other lakes, but they're nowhere near here. Actually, he's over here. Never mind. <sighs> Why am I running away like this? The, that new world, the new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it. When we use this thing... <sighs> you are eavesdropping. You're persistent, too. I pooped out. I'm pooped out from all the running. But I'm not going to battle you. Okay, don't, please. Just, uh, teleport away like that. Ah, uh, no, you're still on my tail. The lake's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will KO you. Okay, so he... We left him no choice. I feel bad for the guy, but, uh, we need to fight him. Galactic Grunt. I I'm gonna name him Steven. Why not? Krogunk, level 31, it is, um, not 9 HP below, I think I know why he w didn't want to battle us now. <laughs> 9 HP, it is 9 levels below, never mind. I am, uh, I am tired or something, I don't know, uh, some excuse. Throw in some excuse there that I'm tired or something, and, uh, that, that should probably do. Magmortar gained 8 boosted 825 X points, and we defeated him in a, uh, cinch, I guess. I don't know, I'm trying to come up with some good word. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get to read all that because I'm rubbing my eye. I mean, this, is, this is pretty good eye rubbing I have right here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm done. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I have to, to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. <laughs> okay. Fun. And then he... Oh, oh, oh it's Cynthia, never mind. I, I, I thought that I was going to be able to run and that he would have uh, teleported away or something by then, but... Oh, hello, not a long, long time no see. How is your Bogodex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear that the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island in the middle, and that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. Da, 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 da. Hey, Austin, where'd that galactic goon run off to? Huh? Is this your older sister? <laughs> she looks more like your older sister. No, she isn't. Oh, okay. That explosion in the Great Marsh. It wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. But the Team Galactic. Wow, what are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. I, I'm, I, I should start talking like that. <laughs> He's your friend. Uh, uh, wrong voice. He's your friend. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So, getting back to what we were st I started saying earlier. Have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes. Yes, that's right. By the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands. 
Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on the Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. Oh, is it updated the secret potion? I should start doing that voice again, too. The Rowan. The Rowan voice. What's the about the secret potion in the key item's pocket? I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. So, uh... Well, what, what is she, like, 30? Um, and then, like, 15? So, uh, Red and Blue is 15 years confirmed because she went on uh, an adventure with the Pokedex. And, um, that, that, uh, was in Red and Blue when that was invented. So, Red and Blue was 15 years ago. Red is actually, like, 25 or more in Sun and Moon. Uh, confirmed. That, that is confirmed. We're going to Zalazion Town and disregard everything that I just said because it's really unimportant. And I was just murmuring this myself, basically. But, we need to take care of those Psyduck because that's basically a hint at what happened. That lake is still blocked off. Um... I, I should probably heal up. Actually, I don't even need to heal up. We basically did nothing on that route, so, uh... Oh, I thought we... I, I thought we had battled these people before. <laughs> I'll show you how uh, tightly I bother with my daughter. Oh, I'm gonna go away with lighting up and I have a Pokemon out. Okay, so we are battle. Okay. <laughs> I had the lazy voice first. Again. So we are battling these two, Varmers. You are challenged by Belle and Pa, Ava, and, and Matt. What? What? There, there are three? Belle, and Pa Ava, and Matt. Where is this Matt? I see, I see who I would assume is Belle, and who I would assume is Pa Ava, as in father. But, but where, who is this Matt? O okay, I'm getting too, <laughs> I'm getting too, um, you know, hyped about it. Uh, let's go to Prinplup. Oh, well, oh yeah, it's a double battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are going to use, um... We're, go we're gonna use a Confuse Ray, I suppose, on the Rapidash. And then Prinblub can use a Brine on Rapidash as well. Just to uh, take out the stronger Pokemon first. Okay, so Confuse Ray worked. Even if the Brine misses or something, uh... It should still, uh, work out for the better because it's confused. E okay, Flame Wheel. That will do barely anything to either of them. Considering that they're level 24 and, uh, these Pokemon are both resistant to fire-type attacks. So the Fall of Ponyta used Stomp. Prinplub used Brine. That might be able to take out Rapidash. Actually, yeah, that will take out Rapidash. Um, and then we can just need to take out Ponyta. It's super effective. The Fall Rapidash. Magmort again gained a boost in 739. X points. X, X points. That's what I've resorted to, calling them X points. Prinplup grew to level 34. That That's pretty good, because we haven't seen much growth in Prinplup in a while, but we are going to use a, another Confuse Ray, I guess, another pointless Confuse Ray on Ponyta, because Brine will basically one hit KO Ponyta. Uh, Magmortar used Confuse Ray, and uh, it's confused, and it might hurt itself. If Prinplup was uh, in our first slot, then we this would have been much easier and less time-consuming, but Prinplup used Brine. Prinplup knocked out Ponyta, and we can continue on our way. This was a huge waste of our, and my, especially my, time. The Vos Ponyta fainted, and Magmortigate boosted 585 X points. And Magmortigate to level 41, which shouldn't be a problem now, uh, because we have uh, Crasher Wake's Gym Badge. Player defeated Bell. Wait, Matt. Ava. Wait, 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 so who's Pa? I, I thought that was Pa. What? 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 <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> uh, let's get off the bike so we could apparently walk through this uh, grass here. And uh, I'm just gonna sneak by that person and give this Psyduck the medicine. Would you like to use the secret potion? We use the secret potion and the Psyduck up here to be cured of their chronic headache. Which apparently causes them to move, uh, like, not move at all. That's Psyduck. Go. Leave squadron. Or platoon. I don't know. That's, that's more of a squadron. Like, squad. Quad. Quad equals four. She teleported here. Oh, good. You used the secret potion I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one's been able to figure out what to, what triggers the headaches. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. 
I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it will be worth your while to go. What if I said no? <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the stereotypical yes, but uh, I kind of wonder what no would uh, do. Okay, uh, my grandma has this sort of- I was reading a notification on my iPod screen. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think that you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location? Look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Okay, so, we are to continue to Celestic Town. Uh, the first moment I stepped in the grass, it's a star idea. Okay, so I'm not just gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna skip this one because I already walked through, or talked through, all of this battle, but subsequent wild encounters I'll just, like, speed through because it's a waste of both of our times. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, we're gonna continue on our way here. There are a few patches of grass, I suppose, to mark the way. Uh, God. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. I'm not- Okay, now that I know there are a, f a few, like, youngsters sneaking around the grass over here, I don't think I'm gonna take that Pokeball because I feel like it's a trap that it will waste time. It's a, it's a time-wasting trap, that Pokeball. Um, let's use a- f Flamethrower on Krogunk here. It is 10 levels below, so it shouldn't really do much. Magmortar used Flamethrower. Magmortar one-hit KO'd it. Uh, I, I, was almo I almost said one-hit shotted, which is uh, w w which is just straight up incorrect. <laughs> the Vos Krogunk fainted. Magmortar getting a boosted 825 X points. That's more than I expected for uh, a Krogunk of that stature and level. Um, Ninja Boy Fabian is about to send in Krogunk. Will you switch your Pokemon? I will not switch because we could once again one hit KO this. Ninja Boy Fabian sent out Krogunk. And we're gonna fight and we're gonna use a flamethrower. Magmor used flamethrower. It was super effective. No, it wasn't. But, uh, it, it's still nice to, to flamethrower. Magmortar! You flamethrowered it. Now it's dead. Magmortar gained a boosted 825 X points and player defeated Ninja Boy Fabian. I can see defeat. Hey, hey, that sounds familiar. Uh, that, uh, oh. For a second, I thought that Noctowl was, uh, shiny because, uh, you know, the shiny ones are, like, yellowish. And, uh, I thought that was yellowish enough. What is this? What is this BS? Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, dang it. I'm concerned. I don't want to go over there. Ah. Uh, dang it. This is a ninja boy. Okay. Um. I can't... Oh. So we're supposed to cut the tree. I thought that was something to, uh, use with, uh, item, you know? Uh, but apparently we need to cut the tree in order to progress. Stupid trainer. <laughs> da da Okay, so we are battling Ace Trainer Elisa, and she sends out Napalm, which isn't too strong. It's still only level 32 compared to our level 41 ultra powerful Magmore, and the fog is deep. Cool. I'm guessing that reduces uh, accuracy or something. I have no idea how that could possibly positively or negatively attribute to our moves. It, it would probably honestly lower accuracy, but uh, that that doesn't seem to be affecting us. Magmortar gained a boost at 964 X points, which is better than that Krogunk. And we are growing at an exponential rate because of all these useless battles. Ace Trainer Elisa is about to send in Grottle. Will you switch your Pokemon? No, because this is a fire type. Grottle is a ground type. And and a, and a grass type. I almost said a greens type, like, get your fresh greens, <laughs> but, uh, I, I kind of shifted it over to ground instead of grass for some reason, and I was just like, ground, I, I, I don't know why I didn't sw <laughs> switch the grass instead, it just, like, popped out of my mind, but the foes girl faded, and we gained a lot of experience from that, actually, for something that has a type disadvantage. Ace Trainer Lisa is about to send in Girafferig. I'm not going to switch in my Pokemon, because that should also be somewhat easy. 
We have a giraffe rig here. It has a head on the front and a head by its butt. Mag Mortar used flamethrower and we burned both heads. Um, apparently, oh yeah, the butt head, I think it said in the Bogodex, has a brain also. So like, hmm, I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. It's just like, oh yeah. Um, imagine if you had a head on your butt and, uh, it had a brain. That would, that would be interesting. Aye! We lost. I'll just read out all those, uh, exclamations from now on. How they're spelled. This is, this is cheap shots. Let's go. Let's go, Ace Trainer. Ah! <laughs> Whatever you want to say, buddy. Let's just battle. <laughs> Ace Trainer Ernest. He's pretty earnest and honest. Look at that. That was the cringiest thing I've ever said. Scyther is sent out. Level 32. Level 42 is our Pokemon's level. And we have a type advantage. This will be a one-hit KO. Even with Fire Punch. Okay, so that definitely is what the fog does. It, uh, reduces accuracy. So we're gonna use a flame punch, or fire punch. Magmortar used fire punch. Magmortar won. Yeah, that, that's basically all that needs to be said. It's super effective. The foes Scyther fainted. And Magmortar getting boosted. 1921. Extra points. 1921. That was Three years after the end of World War One, Ace Trainer Ernest is about to send in Probopass. Will you switch your Pokemon? No, I think Probopass is a, a Steel type, so this should probably work out. Let's try a Flamethrower. It's also a Rock type, which balances it out, but uh, that should be okay. Thunder Wave will be extremely annoying throughout the rest of this battle and uh, going forward, but go ahead, just just go right ahead and do that. Uh, Ace Trainer, whatever your name is, I wasn't even paying attention because I was hysterical over how cheap of a shot you pulled back there. Um, yeah, no, there's really nothing else to be said about that. Defense sharply rose. Flamethrower might, it probably actually will take it out in one hit. Yes. 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 No! More time waste. The fog is deep. Yeah. We, we have established that. The foes Probobass is hurt by its burn. And we just need to use another Fire Punch, and then it should be dead-ish. Magmortar used Fire Punch. Magmortar killed Probopass. Probopass is dead. Probopass is, uh, actually, no. No. Pro let, let's put it, uh, in correct terms. Po correct Pokemon terms. Probopass is incapacitated. The Fog is deep, and Luxio is being sent out, which will be able to win a KO as well. Uh, let's use a flamethrower. Be um, oh, level 34. Maybe we won't be able to win a KO this, but uh, we'll be able to get close, hopefully. Double team is extremely annoying, uh, especially in the fog. If I miss this one, I swear. Oh, God. Uh, this is not going to work out. Uh, let's use another flamethrower. Uh Come on. Come on. I have no comments on this whatsoever. It's just like frustration. That that's that's basically it. Luxio! Die! Good. Good, good cat. <laughs> the foes Luxio fainted. Magmortar gained a boosted 1278 XP points. And we go to level 43. That's pretty good. We gained three levels just by being on this route. Player defeated Ace Trainer Ernest. Haha, <laughs> a total loss for me. Austin gained a boosted, <laughs> boosted twenty forty dollars. I, I almost said X, but honestly, ah, uh, don't cheap shot me, please. Okay, okay. I th I, I I think I might be going well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, yeah, this is this isn't full gizzing problems. It's really. That hard to see. Uh, can we? Do we have a rock smash? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna rock smash. We're gonna get that item. That item looks pretty uh, itemish. Come on. Austin found a TM30 Shadow Ball. Yes. Austin put a TM30 Shadow Ball. I'm gonna save right here real quick because if we get cheap shotted, 
you know, um, then we could, uh, end the episode, because it's kind of getting late. Saving! Do not turn off the power. And this will be the, uh, save thingy. I don't know. We saved the game. We're gonna go back to the main trail, I guess you would consider it. Dang it, this man is here. Uh, so that is where we will be ending off the episode. Next week, we will get to Celestion Town. We will... Or Celestic Town, never mind. Celestion Town is where we came from. But we will get to select Celestic Town, and we will do all the many things that are there. From the last Let's Play that I did this on my own, uh, or that that's just a playthrough. There was a lot of stuff to do there, and a lot of stuff afterwards. So thank you for watching this episode. It is Friday. Have a great Friday. Friday is the best day of the week, because you have the weekend, and you have today to relax. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.